Hello everyone, it's me again, Not, and today I have another unboxing. Uh, it's another player rail. Um, I already have this character, but there's a reason why, I, two reasons why I wanted to do uh, this character. And it's Diesel 10. Okay, three reasons. Uh, it's come with this uh, new box type, with this like new CGI Thomas. Oh, <laughs> not new anymore. Uh, quite old, but uh, one of the reasons why I got this box is because well, Steel Ten. It's a pretty nice character if you're uh, an old fan. But uh, I'm pretty sure his older boxes are a lot better than uh, the CGI boxes because they actually use like photos of the uh, original set, the original models, and I think that's cooler than this. This generic box, but another thing why I got this model is because it uses his classic old face, which I don't have a Diesel Ten with a classic old face. I have a Picture Price CGI Diesel Ten, as you've seen in my uh, splodge on a reemployment video. So this is the Diesel Ten. I've always had uh, pretty recently I'm pretty sure not recently it's probably like a year ago I got this model been wanting the classic face for a while uh, the Fisher Price one with the painted face but I decided the opposite for this one because it's probably more cheaper to buy this one and I could do the painted face I could paint the uh, eyes it doesn't seem that hard to do and it comes with two troublesome trucks. So it's just a, it's a great deal. You get a classic face diesel and two troublesome trucks. Like, yeah, that, that's a great deal. And I just also love this box. It's so surreal seeing this clearly old diesel 10 model. It's just so, it's just unreal. Like, this is the diesel 10 I saw as a child growing up and it's still being sold to this day and yeah it uses the flat not the flat motor the D, the C motor and it doesn't seem yeah it does not have the screw you actually have to push the engine body uh, let's see the other, the other side there he is. Hmm. Alright, let's open him up. I'm quite excited uh, to open him up. Quite excited to um, open him up. This time I actually got it repaired. And actually know how to take it out. Uh, this truck seems to be like rattling in there. Oh, another thing, uh, this box seems to be uh, kind of not in the best condition as you can see order it from amazon i don't know if this uh, was then delivering to me or how it was to deliver to the amazon warehouse it's kind of beaten up only on this side though which i'm kind of glad it wasn't on the uh, engine side but it's still uh, not not as bad of damage but yeah, it's just kind of damaged. It's supposed to be Henry, which was actually pretty good condition. Uh, here's uh, this troublesome truck. And it's a Tommy troublesome truck, 2002. Hasn't been changed. I love that face. Uh. Yeah, that's a, that's a truck. I need more of these uh, troublesome trucks. I definitely need more of them. This is to be uh, wrapped in a plastic bag, I just noticed. It's just, yeah, it's kind of loose. Is it supposed to be like that? I'm guessing it is. Is this troublesome truck? Do I have this troublesome truck phase? I'm pretty sure I do. Pretty nice, pretty cool, pretty rad trucks. 
another styrofoam. These styrofoams are so small. Like, like, look at these. Like the Henry ones are pretty big. Uh, let's take them out. Okay, so it seems to be these though is the only one wrapped in this plastic. God, that looks scary. <laughs> do not let this guy out, bro. <laughs> Whatever he tells you, do not rip out that plastic. He will kill you. <laughs> oh yeah, he's to be the only one wrapped in this plastic. Oh, they don't use the uh, safety screws or the triangle screws. <laughs> Bro, that face is scary, but also pretty nostalgic now. Um, do I do I let them open? Do I get them get them open? You know what? Do it. Why not? How do I uh I think I'm getting it. Uh, am, am I um Oh! There we go. There we go, kinda ripped open in half. Ooh. Yeah, so this Tizzle 10 is a matte finish Tizzle 10 as opposed to the glossy Diesel 10. Here he is. Hmm. Hmm. This is a matte finish. Which I like. It's a little stiff. Interesting. Interesting. It has a matte finish. It's beyond. Now compared to the uh, other Diesel 10. So here's the uh, Tomy one. Hmm. The, the pink seems to be two different colors. The uh, little... This piece seems to be like a darker, not darker, more like a washed brown as opposed to this. It looks like chocolate brown. It's weird. It's really weird. And let's compare it to the Fisher Price CGI Diesel then. Yeah, I could tell this one's more glossier. Pinch is uh, almost like the same colors. I can't with the play roll one. It's just so jarring just to see that obvious miscolored pinchy. I hate it. I actually hate it. I like the glossy finish, but pinchy is kind of ruined. I guess I can just like swap them. But I don't want to do that. Stripes are different. Right? Yeah, they're in different positions. They seem to be smaller in the fish and the uh, Tommy ones. They are smaller. I have more stripes. I don't know. You can count those if you want. No tab in a bag. Oh, I always thought he didn't have a tab. Interesting. Let's compare the faces. Oh, interesting. The buffer beam is like kind of more sprayed to the bottom in the Fisher Price one. And it seems like the uh, the lights, the lamp irons, or just the lights. I like smaller in the uh, fisher part. This is so weird. What? I never knew. I never knew how di how like these models are very very different. What else is different? Wow. 
not gonna be. Why is that Puzzle's lights different? Also, another interesting thing that Diesel 10's pantry is different. Like, the gaps in it is bigger than the Fisher Price one. That's weird. Like, I, I can't. I, this is such a weird. Just, this is so weird. These Diesel 10s, I thought they would be similar because they don't really have to change much, but they're so different. Like, what? 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 How, how these models are just, like almost the exact, how like they look the same. Yet, if you look deeper, they're so different. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. Like, just this alone, you could probably find, like, what? Three differences? Well, like, four with the face, but still. Like, what? It's very weird, and it also painted differently. Interesting. Now, time to put a battery in them. God, his, his, his face is so glossy. I don't, I don't know if you can pick up that on camera, but he's like so glossy. My brother in Christ. How oily is your face? Uh, it's not about a battery, you know? I guess. Okay. So the these D power motors are pretty good, but with age, they seem to be uh, very, very. They can get easily get worn down with age. It's fast. It's it fast. Um, I'm not sure if Tom. No, not the Tom. The Tom ones also get um, pretty bad with age. Yeah, these motors are pretty, uh, pretty bad. Um, they're not only make the engines really heavy, but they also um tend to just um to get uh slower with age uh i was gonna say the tommy one doesn't but they do i have a, a tommy uh talking hero the uh not the new one the old uh this if his first release his talking model without the uh the english plus so uh his motor is really slow um, yeah. This is running on the same battery as the Henry. The Henry of the last video. Like, like, you can tell these motors are just not good. You can even hear it, how better it is. Also, there's some residue on the front wheel there. Also, the wheels are a different color. The Play Real one is a lot darker. So I kind of like it better. It's so weird. Anything different here? Uh, come here. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's the review. Uh, the Playrail Diesel 10 TS09. Uh, it's uh, it's a pretty good model. I would have to say. Um, it has some flaws that you can see by the Apache. But honestly, if you want a Diesel 10, of course you can get worse. Um. The current diesel tens you can get now is um, the knockoff diesel ten, which is okay, but it's a model just doesn't work with diesel ten or doesn't really isn't really like worth justifying to buying for or as a diesel ten. It's more for like customs. Um, another diesel ten that gets in call it modern is the. Uh, the uh, Trackmaster 2 or motorized diesel. Now, of course, they have discontinued it, but it's still a pretty recent model, so it's either that, which is the worst diesel 
of them all. Not only is he fat, fat face, he's just bad. Um, pretty short as well, pretty small, squished. And God, I hate that model. I have that model as well. And I don't know where it is. I just put it somewhere and I don't know if you plan to kill me or something, but yeah, he's uh, not that good. So, uh, Diesel tank you can get, the best Diesel tank you can get in the market is of course, the Play Real Diesel 10. Um, it's not the best Diesel 10. Uh, if you know, the talking action Diesel 10 is good with pinchies. Uh, for free, free moving pinchy. I suppose just this pinchy stuck to his body. Just be able to do this. But uh, if you want a Diesel 10, uh, get this one. And if you want a Diesel 10 with a painted face, well, you can just do it your own. Now I just mask around around the eye area and put white. Do the poops again. Probably something I will do in the future when I start getting some painting supplies. But uh, yeah, the only bad thing about this model is just pinchy. Just two tone colors of brown. But hey, you get these two Trollsome trucks, and that, that's pretty good. Uh, uh, which other character nowadays will get your two troublesome trucks? That's right, no one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, that's, that's that's Diesel Ten. It's a it's a good model. A uh, pretty good model to buy. All right, uh, that's it. That's all.